The FBI says young Somali Americans are being targeted and recruited by terror groups. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is live in City Heights. And Emily, you found young Somalis are doing outreach to keep this from happening here in San Diego. That's exactly right. I'm live here in City Heights. And this is an area that is one of the, it has one of the largest Somali American populations in San Diego and in the country for that matter. Now, I'm learning that young Somalis often have a difficult time in the U.S. There's the language barrier and then they're also bullied at school, I'm told. Like you said, we found a group of young Somalis are, who are reaching out to help each other. We met 19-year-old Mohammed Mohammed walking down the street in City Heights in a neighborhood where thousands of Somali Americans live. He says his elders have warned him about terrorists recruiting young Muslim Somali men. It's like disrespecting our like religion, like really our religion and all that. So it's like it's like a little bit embarrassing for us. He also fears people may judge all Muslim Somali American men like him. When we say we're from Somalia, and like it's embarrassing, like people is gonna get scared from us. Mohammed has been in the United States since the mid 90s. He says it can be hard here for a Somali American child. We was having a lot of problems. Like people was at, like our Bantu people was having too much bullying. Okay, here we go. So he stepped up. He's part of an organization which helps other young Somalis find their place in San Diego with the Somali Bantu Association of America. I mean, since this organization didn't come out, we was having problems with school. They have help with homework, a computer lab, contact with the U.S. military. He says Somali graduation rates have soared. Mohammed says no one has tried to recruit him for terror or his friends, but he is actively recruiting young Somalis for just the opposite. I'm in business, so I would like, I would just like to move my life far, like, I mean, to help the kids to not involved with bad stuff and just to keep them out of stuff like trouble and all that. And the other large Somali American community in San Diego is in Linda Vista. I'm live in City Heights, Emily Valdez, 10 News.